The sun is huge, like literally huge. Just look at this giant shining star. It's located around 93 million miles away from the Earth. And now, imagine how many Earths are needed to fit into just one sun. Well, it would take 1.3 million of them. But what if the Earth suddenly increased by 1.3 million times and became the same size as the sun? What would our Earth look like? And how would this impact our solar system? Let's take a deep dive into an event that might lead to the apocalypse or possibly herald a new order for our solar system. If the Earth becomes the size of the Sun, then the continents will double in size. Imagine what Russia and China would look like if they doubled in size. The thing is, this increase in size comes with some significant advantages. For one, people in overcrowded cities will heave a sigh of relief. At last, there will be enough room for everyone. Perhaps you can finally buy that excellent plot of land because it will be more affordable than it is today. Now, what would happen to the water bodies with the continents blown out? Rivers, lakes, seas, and oceans would have more area to cover. As a result, every lake, river, ocean, and sea would be more shallow than they are now, which poses several devastating consequences. For instance, if the amount of water on the Earth remains the same, and the area covered by the water bodies increases, then we are looking at increased evaporation of these water bodies, which could lead to most of them drying out. Basically, the Earth will transform into one giant sphere of vast wastelands and deserts. Secondly, shallow water bodies mean the sun would penetrate deeper into the water bodies and, as a result, they would heat up. Goodbye to sea creatures that cannot withstand heat because the hot water would literally cook them. Consequently, the Earth would lose a majority of its marine life. Moving on from the marine life, terrestrial life, on the other hand, would not be spared from the effects of a drier Earth with fewer water bodies. It would lead to mass migration of wildlife in the search for fresh water, putting them at risk of extinction. Humans would not be spared too because this would put us in a precarious position. First off, crop yield and agriculture would take a huge blow. Less fresh water means lower output and food shortages at a level we have never seen on Earth. Next, since fresh water is now scarce, countries will go to extreme lengths to protect the water reserves that they have. What would follow is a war over who controls most of the world's freshwater supplies. And since freshwater scarcity is a life or death situation, bigger and more powerful nations would likely dominate smaller countries rich in fresh water. The chaos that this situation would generate is quite unimaginable. Like fresh water, the Earth also has a limited amount of arable land, especially soil supporting agriculture. You see, food crops need a certain amount of soil to thrive and absorb the nutrients they need to produce a bumper harvest. If the Earth increases by over a million times, then this soil will spread out to cover the larger space. This means less soil, and less soil means less food. And mind you, the demand for food remains unchanged. So, the Earth would experience extreme food shortages. We already have a doomsday situation in our hands when we try to imagine the Earth becoming equal to the Sun. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's answer some basic questions. Would life even be possible on Earth if it became the same size as the Sun? What would the solar system look like with an Earth as big as the Sun? Hang in there as we unpack in details what a Sun-sized Earth means for our solar system. It is hard to imagine Earth expanding to 1.3 million times its size. But if this happens, the first question we have to answer is, if life on Earth will be possible in the first place. From what we have seen so far, survival on Earth will be near zero because the chances of Earth supporting life would be quite slim. The next thing we will look at is the impact of this giant Earth on the balance of our solar system. So what would our solar system look like if it were suddenly fitted with a giant sun-sized Earth? The sun is at the center of our solar system, and the reason why it moves the way it does is because the sun has a great mass. It currently has 98% of the mass of our entire solar system. 
You see, a great mass means it exerts a tremendous gravitational pull, which explains why the Sun pulls other planets into its orbit and maintains the current equilibrium the solar system experiences. However, if the Earth becomes as big as the Sun, it will alter the equilibrium the solar system rests on. Let's paint a picture here, shall we? Firstly, we will lose the Moon because the Earth would be bigger than the Moon and exert more gravitational pull than it. So we are looking at an Earth without a Moon. Losing the Moon is likely the least of our worries because if the Earth becomes as big as the Sun, the gravitational pull on its surface will increase by 28 times. And this increase in gravity has some serious implications. With a 28 times increase in gravity, the Earl would pull almost everything around it to itself. The number of extraterrestrial bodies crashing into the Earth will more than quadruple. Every asteroid and comet hanging around the Earth would crash into it. And maybe we might come in contact with some Martians in the process, but that's if we survive the impact of these alien bodies. Our satellites orbiting the Earth would not be spared of this increased gravitational pull. They'll all come crashing into the Earth. Buildings that manage to survive the asteroids and the satellites raid will not hold up against the gravitational pressure on the Earth. Tall trees would also not survive the gravitational pressure. Only thick trees that are low to the ground would remain standing. But wait, it gets even worse. Ever imagined walking around with thousands of pounds of weight resting on your shoulders? On sun-sized Earth, we would have thousands of pounds in gravity pulling us down, and we would literally be walking with thousands of pounds weighing us down every minute of the day. How is this so? Let's consider this for a minute. If you currently weigh, say, 110 pounds, and the gravitational pull on the Earth increases by over 28 times, you would weigh between 2,800. 3,000 pounds. Now that's a significant increase in weight. So you will weigh more, and that would reduce your movement and slow everything on Earth down, including time. The cruel twist here is that time will progress slower and we will live longer. But that will not be an enjoyable life because our movement will be limited. Trust me, there's no flex in living a long life flat on your back, most of the time with aches and pains from gravity weighing on you. Lastly, this arrangement will place the Earth at par with the Sun. So instead of the Sun having 98% of the solar system's mass, it would now share that equally with the Earth, which is 49% each. But would this lead to a binary system where the Earth and the Sun dictate how the planets orbit? Or would this lead to a rivalry between the giant Earth and the Sun? The likely outcome is a rivalry with the Earth and the Sun exerting equal gravitational pressure on the solar system. And this will lead to unimaginable chaos that might lead to the end of our solar system as we know it. Because the solar system can survive with only one Sun and not two equal suns. It is clear that if the Earth becomes the same size as the Sun, it would lead to the end of our solar system and the end of life on Earth. But thankfully, we are spared of this horrible reality. In fact, the Earth is actually getting smaller. So there's no need to panic. In fact, our atmosphere leaks and we lose hundreds of tons of mass to space daily. So take a nice deep breath and be glad because there's no chance we will get bigger.